All right. I want a calorie. It's been a long time since I first announced our Minecraft movie. We've taken our time to assemble an incredible team and to create an original fun film. Yeah, I don't know how it universe. From us at Mojang, our partners at Warner Brothers and Legendary, our talented director Jared Hess, and some amazing content creators, we're bringing Minecraft to the big screen in a way you've never seen before. All with the goal of authentically capturing the spirit of Minecraft by working with people who play, love, and care about the game as much as you do. Let's hear from some fellow Minecrafters and take a closer look at how we made this film. Let's do it! And action! I'm Torbe, creative director of entertainment for Moyang. I'm Jared Hess, the director of a Minecraft movie. We're super excited to share some exclusive information about how we made this movie. Man, to be able to celebrate that fun, amazing creative spirit that is Minecraft, it was just like a dream come true. We oh no, I don't know if it's going to be a good movie, guys. Movie, what is over a decade ago, we really wanted to honor the world. And then spending like three months in New Zealand on set. We've really enjoyed the journey. What's it in New Zealand, guys? Everyone loves going to New Zealand. Do. And we chose live action because it's not something that's been seen before on this scale. Creators have made such amazing stories and short films and content um, in the animation space. And it was like, oh, this is the chance for us doing a film to do something different. And also kind of wish fulfillment because I have always wondered, like, what would happen if I would wake up inside the Minecraft world? Like, how, how would I survive and, and, and would I survive at all? The idea of being human beings that are actually going into this cubic dimension <laughs> of the overworld and how those characters are engaging in that space and it just seemed like so much fun everything is cubic like everything is blocks we had just an absolutely amazing crew of talented artists you know our production designer grant major he was the production designer for the original lord of the rings trilogy we also are working with Weta, and they all have Oops, their own explains a few things, guys. with the game. So when they started designing and drawing, uh, it just really popped. What I like about what you did is, is that the choices you make, they support the story and the character. Part of that is because just like every Minecrafter, every player, they bring their own Brain original story, story to yep. what they're doing. It's very intentional that this movie is called a Minecraft movie as opposed to the Minecraft movie. We have an ensemble of characters. These oh, so there's actually a reason for the name it like that. Interesting. Enter into the overworld, and we experience a lot of that through one of our characters named Henry, who's a young man going through a tough time in his life. And, and he young man, he looks like he's a teen. He's a young teen. You know, he's maybe twelve, page, thirteen. Like reading the script, like maybe he's a much older. Like, it's, you know, a young kid. I see everyone young. Room, yeah, like that's younger than me, kid. So. But that's what he is. He's like a maker and he's a mm -hmm. creator. Such a big part of Minecraft has been the the creative community and modding. So we thought that Definitely. Henry, the Henry character could represent the, basically the modder, the person who takes the vanilla game and tweaks it and adjusts it. And then he comes into the Minecraft world and he meets Steve and Steve knows everything about vanilla Minecraft. We've always said that Steve isn't really a character. Like Steve is what you make him, right? Yeah. And, and, and we've all embodied Steve and been Steve and done different things. So uh, our Steve in this movie is Jack Black. He such a huge fan of the game. After a long day of shooting, he was up until the wee hours of the night playing. And it was so funny because he would show up and be like, oh, dude. Yes, no, Dave, we gotta try this thing, dude. You know, some build that he did or something gnarly. Oh, okay, so he's actually so learning the game as he plays it. That's actually a good thing. His version of Steve. Because he gets an idea of the, what time, it's about. Figuring out crafting was super fun. When the game came out, the then again, game, it is the Steve. It is people, Jack people Black, like, so. What, if I, what happens if I put these things He's, not, a, when he's not some tool, so. characters come into the world. They don't know the recipes. They don't know what to do. The Jason Momoa character, Garrett, is a guy that was like a world championship video gamer. In the late 1980s, it's actually nice to get some information. He kind of peaked then, but he's still stuck in the past. He's got a little bit of arrested development. He's Just holding on to that former glory. We want to show you a short scene that shows Henry and Garrett and Steve. Steve is kind of demonstrating his skills, and and then Garrett tries to demonstrate his skills. Yeah, and Garrett's the noob. This is a crafting table. 
table. Here's how it works. You place these elements in different patterns, and you got yourself a sweet blade. You want to see a blade? <laughs> it actually doesn't look too bad now you're looking at it properly. Okay, bud. Buckets are useful here. When we were designing, crafting, and talking about this what, they, uh, what buckets. should it look like, we we basically started at the crafting table itself. We looked at the crafting table. We looked at the engine. Actually, that's pretty funny, guys. It doesn't look that bad. I mean, the trailer the definitely not give this justice. So obviously, that was built. I definitely want to hear what people think. Real world crafting table. So we got this hammer, and we figured we honor the three to three grid perfectly, and 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 thought it would be cool and kind of fun and gratifying to just give it a massive whack and then have things appear. Oh, Remember definitely it gives it a bit more personality. The size of the of the block that you yeah. break itself. Looks when Steve holds a block, it's like this big, and there we actually found out that going one meter by one meter, which is like you know three feet by three feet, is actually too big. So we scaled it down, and it, the scale's like hey, this is what they say to get down, guys. Is, uh, you know, two feet by two I knew it was a decent feet. reason. I just didn't and know the reason. In the background, and maybe in the in actually, the I kind of like the um the movie. It looks a bit more better than I expected. Powers of two, because yeah, we're programmer. But then again, it's still got a long way to go. We had to honor what you experience in the game, but also make it work for human scale for our different characters that are that are, you know, manipulating the environment and the world and throwing blocks and make it be practical for that, but still feel natural and organic to what people experience in the game and, and feel authentic in that way. This has been so much fun talking about the movie, everything that's gone into making it, all of the ideas, the point of view, and we cannot wait to share this movie with the world. Yeah, that didn't look too bad, guys. I'll go give it credit. Yeah. I knew there was more to it. I just didn't know what it was. The filmmakers are still hard at work on a Minecraft Obviously. Movie and collaborating closely with us at Mojang, as well as listening to the community to continue to shape and craft the film in a way that's fresh and new, but still authentic to the spirit of the game. Look for more exciting updates soon.